coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And Elliott puts this one through. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up? Or are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? They begin the drive with Coleman, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Ryan to throw. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. This is Freeman on first and 10. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown, because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well, because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one, and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And down to the 36-yard line here. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. And the question now, can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here, you're looking at right about a 52-yarder. picks it. And what an effort on the final play of regulation. All zeros on the clock, and we are headed to OT. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Come on, now. Come on, now. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. 
but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They run with a giant. Takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A huge play there in overtime. 47 yards on the ground. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And on the ground they go with the running back. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now they try the right side here. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and a game winner in OT. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game.